Hi everyone, welcome back to another video of mine and today we have yet another figure review which is this, the Grantista Resolution of Soldiers, Son Goku and I will tell you this box is really massive it's yeah it's really really massive later I'll do a box comparison uh, right side by side but then now we'll first take a look at the box art so of course right in front of here we have this figure itself the box art of it the Sun Goku here staring and then you guys can see here this Crane King usually Crane King are uh, the line that's um, soft sort of like Crane King similar to the Ichiban Kuji which is a slightly more premium on the Banpresto line but yeah and then here you guys can see Banpresto the logo itself and then you guys can see here it's still Resolution of Soldiers and by the way if you guys do not know this Resolution of Soldiers line the previous line before entering this new one they have discontinued the previous line uh, the other previous line the Resolution of Soldiers it's by far the most detailed figure I can I can say but then I'm not sure why they stopped it and then now instead they come out, came out with um, this um, Grantista so basically Grantista of course I mean grand so I guess it's gonna be really big like this box here so yeah anyway um, basically um, this box is really huge so that's why I can't fit to the whole frame um, basically it's just top here Grantista and bottom here Grantista that's it so now we take a look at the side here you guys can see here the other side of the box art this one here will be the completed um, painted the figure of Goku Super Saiyan 1 so yep and then now at the back here you guys can see the zoom in of Goku here again he's looking sideways and then basically here is the zoom out of it you guys can see his hair I think Super Saiyan 1 has like the best looking hair I mean I would I actually I think Goku should um like the latest manga you have like Super Saiyan God I think he should become Super Saiyan 1 then you proceed to become um, Super Saiyan God I think that would look much better but yeah anyway at the top here you guys can see it's just the Toei sticker over here and at the bottom here is just a bunch of information so yeah the box here is done and now I'll give I'll show you the comparison of the other boxes so at the side here you have the same line which is this is the I say this is the Grantista version and this is the resolution of soldiers this is the normal release you guys you see Resol resolution of soldiers and then you guys can see on my right here there's the resolution of soldiers as well so yeah basically this line have been discontinued but then now they they have this GROS means Grantista resolution of soldiers so you guys can see in terms of height you can see a massive difference let me zoom up you guys can see it's so much difference over here and then over to here I mean just just look at just look at the size over here and then I'll move it over here it's just that big of a difference I think it's easier if I put it on top yeah so yeah you guys can see like there's so much difference so yeah I mean basically that's that for the box so next we'll move on to the figure itself so here it is the completed figure um, I'll say that this um, piece came with four parts one you guys can see here the legs over here which sort of like uh, make it stand steadily it's this one piece and then next is this his lower body part here uh, two piece the third piece is of course the upper body here and then the fourth piece the last one of course is the head and so I guess everyone the first thing uh, you guys notice because when I first showed to my brother and my friend the first thing they asked is dude why is there a hole in the shirt this is the design of it let me just show you here uh, I'm sorry about the background noise and yeah let me just focus again yeah so you guys can see it's the design of it there is a hole in his shirt so don't worry about it if you guys saw there is a hole in it it is the design so let's focus back 
so as you guys can see this thing is really massive like really really massive it's even bigger than the master grid itself so yeah let me just do a quick 360 i won't be able to show you the shoe because i can't fit everything into the frame because this figure is, re is really that massive and it's even bigger than the box okay for faster comparison just let me bring the box here yep so you guys can see it's almost like the head over here it's almost like it's, the moment here go up it's definitely higher than the box already so yeah let me just put it back and now we just do a quick 360 rotation on this figure too low so yeah as you guys can see the um his i, I don't know what i call it his shirt his t-shirt it's the color it's slightly darker so yeah as you guys can see this is his box art his pose staring at you like that and then here at the back you guys can see the sculpting of his pants it's really great i really do not know how they sculpted it like yeah, it's really difficult anyway here is the other side of it and then back to the front so now we move in to the bottom first because that's like the easiest part then we'll slowly move up to his upper bodies so let me just adjust everything so now we we'll look at the lower part of his body first so you guys can see let me just take this side as yeah you guys can just see this piece just normal piece like that let me just put this aside so you guys can see his shoe this is like his um, shoelace you guys can see it looks really good his color everything looks great and there's like two tone of it like shading so yeah looks great and then uh, just take a look at the back here you can see all the details and then at the bottom here is the sole the feet of it they even purposely draw a line usually you don't get lines like this just a flat foot so yeah it's great to see next we slowly move up to his pants his pants here you guys can see the details again actually there's nothing much i would say the scalp here this part here is really well done like the crumple of it Yeah, you can see the sculpture of his butt and yeah next we'll move on to his belt which is this you can see there are multiple layers of it let me turn at the back and on camera uh, I, 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 I've noticed on camera here the belt looks look quite shiny but maybe that's because of the light that's shining through it but it's actually um i would say sort of like the brighter but it's not the reflective kind i'm not sure if that makes sense so let me just uh, adjust the camera angle to move up to show his upper body so now we will reach the upper body so of course the first thing you guys would want to see the hole here so yeah sort of like a burn burn in not sure was that intended or what but yeah so you guys can see his t-shirt that's very inside and now we move on the hands his bicep here you guys can see the detail and you can see here and let me just show you guys his fingers again looks great see his bicep everything here is the other part of it and his shirt here it's moving up so yeah you guys can see his two triceps and then now we move on to his neck over here it's sort of like divided um two parts over here so yeah you guys can see his chest his big chest over here so yeah now we will of course move on to his hair so first we start off with the fascia there is a slight fascia problem here you can see the eye is very well sculpted again and then next you guys can see his eyebrow soft like a little bit distorted but then um, it's not really much noticeable 
then you guys can see like sort of like a glue stain but to me it's not very obvious if you put far away unless you like really look into that but yeah nonetheless this whole figure still looks awesome and now we'll move on to the hair I would say this hair it's uh, much shinier than the previous resolu resolution line so yeah you guys can really see that the hair really does glow in his gold color so yeah you guys can see his detail there is slight chipping as you would expect but um, yeah nothing much really to like um, fuss about because overall this really this whole figure really stands out and now let me just readjust the camera and I'll put on the the piece that solo piece that it comes with so yeah I'm not sure if you guys would be interested but uh, this piece here is stuck on his back just like that you can hear a clip sound so yeah once it's done it's like that it's quite steady so yeah it looks like that depending on what how you want to, you want to put it or not it's up to you but this whole figure it's actually really heavy on itself so yeah you just need to put it on the flat ground but if you're afraid that it will fall off then then I guess you should put that piece in so yeah let me just bring another figure for comparison to see the height difference so this is the Gohan figure the uh, yeah this is the normal Gohan figure that I reviewed this the resolution of soldiers Gohan and you guys can see his, his length it's only two Goku's belt over here so yeah it's really that much of a difference it's really grandista I would say and yeah you guys can see that's just so much difference and then let me take another uh, much bigger figure so yeah again the next figure here is this the Kamehameha Sun Goku which is you guys can see his box on the left side over here so yeah again, again you can see his height over here is also until Goku's belt but um, however if you guys but the size of it you guys can see the shoe it's actually just a little bit um, smaller than this uh, Goku figure over here so if I would if this Kamehameha Goku were to stand upright with um, this Super Saiyan Goku over here I would say um, it would be maybe just like this length in terms of detail wise uh, I would say this Kamehameha figure ace in that department just a little bit because of his um, his hand here the movement everything it's very much well shown but then if it, it, but overall because this figure is bigger and in terms of coloring I think this figure looks um, much better of course than the hair as well so yeah and last thing I've forgotten to show you guys which is of course the comparison of the Super Saiyan the hair so let me just pause and readjust everything again so right now you guys can see um, this is the resolution of soldier Gohan and I want you guys to just look at his hair color this is very much a uh, straightforward yellow I mean at least to me straightforward yellow and then you compare to Goku Super Saiyan 1 his hair it's more of a yellowish yellowish gold if that makes sense but this really looks like a genuine gold gold color but it still mix I think gold mixed with um, yellow in that sort so let me just bring Gohan hair color comparison again so yeah you guys can see here the Gohan looks more looks more like just a pin on yellow color and then you guys can see the Goku one instead it's more um, like a much yellow color I mean gold color here so yeah that's it for today's video I hope you guys have enjoyed this Grantista resolution of soldier uh, figure review again this figure um, doesn't cost much it costs the very same price as this Gohan figure over here so yeah you guys can get one if you guys like it so yeah that's it for today's video i hope you guys have enjoyed this video if you guys do please do not forget to drop a like down below and subscribe to me as there will be more um reviews coming soon in terms of figure or gunpla or whatever that that is of my interest then i'll just review it so yeah i hope you guys have a really good day and yeah i'll see you guys soon 
And again, don't forget to drop a like and share it to any of your friends if you guys are interested in. So yeah, so see you guys soon.